Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make snow cone cupcakes. They have a homemade snow cone syrup that you can put on these cupcakes or you can actually put on real shaved ice. Let's get started on this perfect summer tutorial. To make the snow cone cupcakes, we're going to be using vanilla buttercream and we're going to be using cupcakes. You can use any flavor of cupcakes that you want, but I do suggest that you stick with the vanilla buttercream because of its color, and we're going to be adding different tones to it, so you do want a nice light base. Now, for the flavors of the topping, I'm going with cherry Kool-Aid, raspberry lemonade Kool-Aid, and grape Kool-Aid, and then I have the corresponding sh sanding sugars, so red, blue, and purple. You can use any flavor in any color that you want. So so we're going to combine the Kool-Aid with two cups of granulated sugar and one cup of water to make the snow cone syrup. We're going to make our snow cone syrup first. So in my pot I have my cup of water. I'm going to turn my heat up to medium and I'm going to put my sugar in here. And then I'm going to stir it and then just stir it occasionally until it comes to a boil. And then I'm going to let it boil until uh, all of the sugar has dissolved. Once the sugar and water comes to a boil, you want to turn your heat off and remove your pot from the heat. Once you have the syrup off of the heat, you're going to take your Kool-Aid and dump it into the pot and give it a stir. You're going to need to let this cool completely, so let it cool outside of your fridge for a couple of minutes and then put it into the fridge to finish cooling. So you'll need to repeat this for all of the different flavors that you want for your snow cones. Once the syrups are completely cool, you can start decorating your cupcakes. So here I have my cupcake and I'm going to pipe on some of this vanilla buttercream, just using a round open tip. With that on there, I'm just going to dump it into the sanding sugar like this, just working it around so I've got it all covered like this. And then I'm going to take this, dip it into the syrup, and then this get part gets really sticky. You're just going to set it onto a piece of paper towel and let that all drip off. Now I'm going to show you how to do two different colors on one cupcake. So I've got my buttercream here again, piping that on, and I'm going to try to just get half of the cupcake into the blue, and then flip it over and get the other half into the red. And then I'm just gonna work it down so it's a little bit round. You wanna cover up the rest of those spots like this. Kind of just keep working it there. Now I'm going to dip the blue part into the blue and then flip it over. You gotta work quickly, it's gonna run on you. And then the red into the red and let that sit. Once the snow cone syrup has been absorbed by the, sa the sanding sugar and the buttercream, you're ready to display them. Now I have some of these snow cone holders and they will work really well with the snow cone stand. Now the snow cone stand, you can get them on Amazon or any other site like that. And if you can't find them though, you can just use like a standard little tiny glass and fill it with some little candies. I've got some jelly beans in there and the jelly beans will support the cone just like that. So for this stand here, the cone just goes in like that. Now to fill it, um, rather than just putting the cupcake in, if you drop a little gumball in the bottom and then fill it, with some more jelly beans or any candy, whatever kind you like, or maybe if you're taking this for somebody, whatever kind of candy they like, it just fills it up a little bit so then the cupcake can sit up a little bit higher than sinking right to the bottom. And then you just carefully drop it in there and you've got yourself a snow cone. So there you go everybody, how to make snow cone cupcakes. They look like snow cones and they even taste like snow cones with the addition of the homemade snow cone syrup. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Thanks for watching. And if you like food imposters, make sure you check out all of our other food imposter videos on the playlist that I'll link in the description box below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.